If you're in search of some better sound and a bit more throttle response for your 2016 or newer 3.5 liter Toyota Tacoma, this AFE Silver Bullet Throttle Body Spacer will be the kit to check out. Now this will be a great pick for the Tacoma owner looking to increase a better performance and throttle response, giving you a better jump off the line if you're currently struggling with that. This will also create some better sound out of your engine, eliminating any whistle and creating a sportier feel. Getting into the construction, this will have a serrated and helix bore design to flow more air efficiently into the intake and will be made of a 6061 T6 billet aluminum for superior durability. This will also lengthen the intake track, which will increase the speed, which will assist you in that throttle response. Now you also won't have to worry about a tune when it comes to this spacer, and this will reuse all of the factory mounting points and will include longer hardware as well as a gasket to make sure it's hassle-free when it comes to the install. When it comes to the price though, this will be pretty average for a spacer at roughly $150. Now others on the page may have a different design, uh, like a different cut to the bore compared to this one or different finishes as this one is gonna keep that polished look that you may want to stand out in your engine bay. Now overall, if you're looking for a very easy way to gain a bit of performance for your 3.5 liter, this is a pretty affordable way to do it. Install for this is gonna be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter taking you about 20 minutes to get the job done with some basic hand tools. However, that is going to wrap it up for my review. One of our customers here at Extreme Train has actually installed this on their Tacoma and is gonna walk you through that install process right now. So you're gonna need a ratchet, a ratchet extension to get to the parts a little bit easier, a 10 millimeter socket to get the OEM bolts out, and an eight millimeter socket to get the aftermarket ones in. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop open the plastic cover for the engine. It just kind of pops up off of these two little nubs and then you can take it off of the hinge from the back. So the side. There's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts here and here to get the hose out of the way. And then there's the crank case vent which is underneath there which we'll get to in a second. So just undo these bolts. Loosen up the tension on the hose clamps. Once both of those are loose, you're going to want to pop it off from the front on the back. And then down here, you're going to want to pinch this with your hands up off of the little end right there. And then you shimmy it off, and it's done. This will come out as one unit, but we're putting it back as an entire unit as well. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to loosen and take out all four of these bolts that are actually holding the throttle body onto the intake plenum. So you're going to come in with your 10 millimeter ratchet again and just undo these four. You hear a crack. Fine. Probably the first time these bolts have ever come off. When you take these out, you're going to want to set these off to the side and save these just in case you want to go back to the original spec. Around its axis. Now that it's loose, So, that's the last bolt coming out. I'll let this rest down here for a second. Again, you're going to want to save all of these. You're going to have four of these. Save these in case you want to go back to the original setup. 
Now, you're gonna switch the ratchet head from a, a 10 millimeter to an eight millimeter. That's gonna go with the provided bolts from the kit. Now, when you're installing these bolts, you're gonna to wanna to put these on in the order of bolt, lock washer, and then regular washer. This is the this is the way that these are gonna go in. So we're gonna do next. You're gonna be putting in the throttle body spacer, and it'll tell you which orientation it is. This is top, and then air in. That means that the air is gonna be coming in through this side and coming out on this side. When you put these in, you're gonna to want to make sure that you still have this O-ring to create a seal against the back of the throttle body spacer. The gasket is gonna sit between the throttle body spacer and the actual throttle body. Throttle body. When you're doing these, again, you're gonna to wanna to start with one, get the other ones in, get them in order, and then go from there. Now, since the first one's done, we can go through, get the next bolt ready. Again, it's gonna be bolt, block washer, washer. To make your life easier, just get the top two in. And then put the bottom two in. Get them started by hand. About until the threads actually start going. And again, that's using a 10 millimeter bolt and a 10 millimeter driver. You're gonna wanna tighten these in a crisscross just to make sure that everything seats nice and snug. Again, you're gonna to wanna to get this snug the whole way around. But as tight as you can go by hand. It's on pretty solidly. All right, so next, we're gonna be putting back on the air intake hose. When we put this back on, we're gonna to have to do the crankcase vent hose first. So you're gonna come in Loosen up that wire, little crimp, slide it on, and then push this down onto the little track that's already been made for it. And you want to put on this side that's next to the throttle body first. Make sure that that goes on evenly the whole way around. You might want to move this, actually, and start like this. Get this side in first and make sure that this is all locked in. Now that the hose is in, you can actually compress this and get it in on the other side. 
And this is definitely gonna be more difficult to get back in on account of the fact that you have another three quarters of an inch of material. So we're blocking the throttle body. So compress that about as much as you can by hand. And make sure that when it goes on, you're not pinching any part of the throttle body. Sorry, the hose all the way around. And it should slide the whole way on. You wanna make sure that these little tabs right here at the front and also at the back are both lined up. Now since these are all good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and grab your ratchet again. Still 10 millimeter and snug these down. in there it's got a little bit of flex and you have the throttle body spacer installed there being pressed tight with the gasket between the throttle body spacer and the throttle body and you're going to want to go back through grab the cover and put this back on it's going to lock back into place on the back rubber and then when this comes down it'll pop back onto the two original ones. So that is going to wrap it up for my review and the installed the AFE Silver Bullet throttle body spacer fitting all 2016 and newer 3.5 liter Toyota Tacomas. For more videos and products just like this, remember to always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.